Hello, it's Lulu. <laughs> How y'all doing? Good, I suppose. I'm fine. Thank you. This will be for the earth signs. I'm doing the mojo for the earth signs here today. Um, it is important to remember that the members vote on the monthly readings. Aquarius will be first for February, and um, then we'll go from there, right? So whoever birthday it is, they always go first. It's important to note. Thank you. Thank you for your like, share, subscribes, and comments. Thank you for your love and support. Thank you. Any information that you need is in the description box. Yes. Yes. Okay. Now then, uh, real quick, the 90-day journey to mindfulness is available on the website. I created this um, to assist you with becoming more mindful, present, and aware. It can also be a family heirloom as far as what, however you process your process and you can allow those who come behind you to, um, you can hand this down so that, cause there's a lot of things that you may not be able to explain. Remember how to explain or what have you. You can also use this as a teaching tool. And for the entrepreneurial intuitive, um, this is a good, um, this would be a good workbook for your clients here to help them process their process as you assist them the way that you can along their journey. <laughs> what? Now then, let's go ahead and get started. Uh, one other thing, you can go to um, Ashe Tools for uh, Intuitives. Here, it's in the description box. And uh, download the free note taker tool. Um, it's a handy dandy tool that helps you to process the information that you receive. It'll also help you to pick up things that you may not even um, thought to pay attention to in the first place. So you can get those and when you watched um, Spiritual Advice here on the tube, it will assist you with breaking things down even more so, right? Paying attention to whatever it is you may not have wanted to. Thank you. All right, that was two minutes. Oh, Angels, what information do you have for my beautiful earth signs? What do you have? What do you have? Uh, is it one card? It is. And it's a green card. It's a heart card. Something going on with the heart chakra. Or how you feel here. It's stabilizing the heart chakra. Stabilizing maybe some of you have done a huge emotional release here in the uh, recent past. And you're finally clearing that out. It also feels like... There may have been two to three different areas that there was some type of forgiveness that needed to take place or you needed to show compassion in one area in order for you to um, receive or reap the reward in another area. They were parallel to one another. Um, I, oh, it looks like a storm. So maybe some of you went through some type of storm here recently, had a tower moment. Uh, maybe some things were ruined, right? Or um, you are walking through the ruins of some things that may have been heartbreaking or a challenge right there may have been some childhood trauma that was that was triggered from this I feel as though there's just a there's not a lot of clearing uh, that needs to take place here from what I'm seeing <laughs> I don't know why I'm sitting like that there's not a lot of um, um, residual energy because you've been doing the work over and over and this may be something that is recurring um, at any rate you are processing your process apparently um, I do feel that if you are pregnant, you are carrying your child low. So this may have an issue. You may have a back issue more so than um, others in your family who have carried children this way. You, or maybe you are the first person to carry a child this way. Or it may be a breech baby. Moving forward. I do feel that there is... Um, There's an energy here of people uh, needing your assistance here, and you're trying to show some type of compassion when it comes to um, who you say no to, earth signs. Um, some of you may be relocating and moving out west. Deciding to move out west, you've been pulled in that direction wanting to go that way, so that may be something that will be occurring in the next six months. I feel like a lot of work has been done in the East, if that makes sense to you. Something about the East and the West, um, polar opposite here. 
or maybe that's the way that it falls on the uh, zodiac wheel and you may have had an issue with someone who is your polar opposite yes <clears throat> moving forward <clears throat> I also okay so there's a new beginning something is some type of truth is being illuminated here and it's going to be important for you to pay attention to um, your thoughts pay attention to the words that you say because you will be um, manifesting things rather rapidly now that you are moving more into your heart space you are clearing out obstacles and blocks that and challenges that may um, in other um, areas in other in past lifetimes or in the past may have hindered you yes Um, some of you may find something in your garden or your yard once you uh, I feel like there's something neglected in the back there may be something neglected in the backyard and um, it's like um, un, um, you know that saying uh, no stone left unturned so I feel like there's a need to um, clear out the backyard an area of the backyard and there's something that will be revealed there but also, if you want to look at it in the um, other sense, leaving no stone unturned and things will be revealed if you look further into things and add some more details. Let's see what's going on. This heart chakra. Angels, what information do you have right here for the earth signs and the heart? Excuse me. I don't know if y'all heard that. Excuse me. Heart chakra. Look at that. Uh -oh. Maybe leaving or moving away. Someone is being freed from a situation. It was time for it too. Um, we have the Queen of Cups and the Six of Swords, right? So someone is being uh, released from a situation and being sent off to just grow and blossom. And then you, have, you finally made it to a point where... Um, you are following your intuition even more so. But what I'm seeing here is that nurturing energy. There may even be that, um, there may have been some type of chaos or confusion with the mother. Uh, there may have been some type of um, dishonesty or um, argument or there's no need to argue anymore. There's no need to um, try and be a certain way, right? This may even be someone who has healed from their um, their some childhood issues dealing with the mother, and now they have clarity. They went through a rite of passage, and now they're being set free, uh, so to speak. So this may even be the, um, someone who has broken some type of generational uh, cycle, generational pattern of behavior, and finally seeing things clearly with that Six of Swords. It also feels like, again, the relocation. Someone is being set free. I get set free from this. And this, right? Because she is, um, I feel like she's setting this this bird for you. You are free to fly away. You are free to be you. You are free to be you, yourself. You, you are a whole, complete, and unique, right? But um, this is someone releasing the reins and allowing the other to go and also uh, bidding them farewell with a present package or some type of um, information and an order of protection. What if I cut the bindings? Now, yeah, this is an order of protection. There may be an instance here where some old thoughts begin to creak in and you begin to doubt yourself or feel a certain type of way when it comes to your journey. I get that because this little boy is pointing at this sword in this boat. Like, whoa, 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 y'all forgot about this one. Y'all didn't see this one, right? And that may be your inner child. Here, some of you are healing the divine masculine within, whether you're a woman, man, chick, or child, you see. Healing the divine masculine and then finally putting to rest or putting to bed things that used to um, hold you back in some sense when it comes to how you think of things, how you view things, how you process things. Maybe your processor is working different, differently here. Maybe you had an upgrade on your database, on your memory card, or maybe you even cleared out some viruses in your, uh, in your database. Thank you. It's all the same to me. Um, I do feel... That there's a Pisces or, okay, someone is traveling with you or traveling to see you. 
maybe a, a Pisces here or a Cancer traveling to see you have strong feelings for you while you are in the midst of clearing out and cleaning up here moving forward making things happen and, and bringing that balance and harmony to the way that you see things bringing that balance and harmony to what you even give your attention to even more so i feel like some of you will be cre um, working on some type of creative endeavors feeling very whatever it is that you are very passionate about you may have to decide between two things but they do connect so now you have to deal with which way do you go how do you go which one do you start with here okay there may be an older woman that is finally letting you know that it is okay for you to um, this may be a conversation that you have with someone with sage wisdom. Um, that They're letting you know that everything is going to be okay here. They are giving you some type of advice. You may They may even offer you help and you turn the help down, but you take the, the gems of wisdom as uh, being priceless. So, of course, it's invaluable. Thank you. Many of you are in a space where you are finally ready for love. Uh, you realize that you, um, in fact, were infatuated possibly, and now you are ready for some real love, or you are waiting for um, your headache toward what it is that you truly want. This may even be someone who got a divorce later in life, and now they are, um, you know, p pulling up by their bootstraps, and they're ready to date again. And they feel as though they, they may need to go um, across country, overseas, or something like that, right? But this is harmony in your emotions, balance and harmony in your, like it's an overall mind, body, and spirit balance of emotion as well. Some of you are very intuitive and you have um, unlocked a gift that um, has been passed down to you. I feel like someone in your family is also just as gifted, but they happen to uh, do um, heavy drugs, so it kind of hinders them. So now it's passed to you. There was some type of initiation that went on um, that you had to go through in the past year. Clarify this Queen of Cups. Reconciliation, a meeting of the minds here. Um, it feels like there's a need. There's something that you are celebrating. You may even be celebrating the um, transition of a Queen of Cups. But overall, there's some type of celebration. There's some type of meeting with old friends here. But also, you may even be um, celebrating the birth of a child. There's some, it's, it's a celebration. Because I don't feel like this is a third-party situation. This has to do with honoring and paying reverence to someone who may be older or someone who maybe um plays a huge role in your life clarify this for me please um i do feel as though your ancestors are celebrating overall the ones that um are on the path with you of a higher um a higher realm okay well the the energetic realm there's a, a the ones of love period right because this can be a number of uh different energies but they all come together to uh, in your honor i see i do feel that there's uh some old friends and you may even be reconnected with a neighbor what is this three of cups talking about honey and this may yet this is something that is happening that you have been fearful of right uh some of you with this nine of staffs and this three of cups right so there may be some type of fear or some type of um you may go in defensive, being very defensive about um, protecting yourself, being very uh, defensive when it comes to this group of people, this circle of friends or what have you. You're very defensive because there may have been some things that happened in the past. And that goes that heart energy that comes in again to help to protect you, guide you and help you move along. So what I'm seeing here is that uh, you have strengthened your forces. So there's nothing for you to worry about. It's about you getting on the other side of um, hopping on the other side of fear, which I see it as a wow. Hopping on, on the other side of fear, knowing that you are divinely protected and divinely directed in order for you to move forward. I also feel somebody is stalking. There is a stalker here. Someone doesn't want. OK, there we go. I'm gonna get up out of here. Someone does not want you to move forward. Um, you may have had a decision. This is where the love comes in. You may have had a decision to make when it comes to matters of the heart. And someone fears losing you. They feel, they feel there's a feeling. This could be either be you or someone else, right? Use your discernment, critical thinking. There may be some fears or some um, <clears throat> Uh, 
whoever this is, they're very hurt. Whoever this is, they um, didn't want to lose you, but they didn't want to do what it took to keep you. So keep that in mind here because you yourself turned into the Queen of Cups with this heart energy. Wanting to, deciding to nurture a situation, deciding to nurture and um, bring in that divine feminine and healing it here and finally seeing things for what it is because some of you have um, grown to the point where you are aware that just because you think that something is, think that something is one way or the other, you are realizing that those thoughts were triggering certain types of emotions that were not real. What is this person doing hiding behind this fence? I just see some eyes hanging over a fence. Someone has wanted to communicate with you. Someone is sending, sending love arrows at you, darting, um, thinking about you a lot. So this may be telepathic communication. Someone really wants to see you, wants to be around you. But also, I feel like you are moving forward as, as far as leaving the past behind and going ahead and making amends with the friends or the associates that you choose are um, more um, in alignment with your assignment. Here, with this eight of staffs, here <clears throat> this is a lot of back and forth communication this is working on your creative projects this is also possibly you being a student receiving some type of email it is mercury retrograde season so you want to check your emails and check them twice and then check them thrice <laughs> messages and all right but what i'm seeing here is that there is um communication or um some type of connection between you and someone else where um there's a, a physical attraction overall. This is kind of in its infancy, but you want to see where it goes. I also feel that when it comes to your creative endeavors and what it is that you are working on, since this is so new to you, this process that you have been through or the, whatever this is that you have started in the last three to six months, you're in a space of um, being um, using your childlike um, childlike enthusiasm or optimism, because that looks like optimism solar plexus with this yellow. But you're choosing to take your time and you're choosing to see things for what they are, planning your steps accordingly, asking questions where necessary because, if, of course, you may even be um, an apprentice at this time when it comes to your work and how you do your work and how uh, much you, um, what do you need to incorporate that you hadn't before into the work that you do. We talking today, bitches. Now, I do feel that um, on the one hand, you are balancing out your spiritual um, the spiritual and the practical and you are walking in it uh, firmly because this is all new to you integrating this new energy and seeing how it works in this world, right? Um, you may even be doing a vision board here or something that you wake up to and see all the time and you are beginning to see that everything that you um, visualize, you think, you speak, it becomes situations, it becomes conversations, it becomes um, a reality. Earth signs like that. They like tangible things. They like things they can touch. They like material things. Some of you may even um, decide to run a marathon or what have you. I was finna say a connectalone, but I think that's a mix of a marathon and connectalone hair. <clears throat> Moving forward. Uh, with this eight, I really do feel that when it comes to your everyday living and how you do things, there will be a lot of rapid movement, a lot of rapid growth, um, a lot, your hands, uh, you spend in a lot of plates, but focusing on one and the rest of them are spin on their own. You already know that, um, you're in a space where you are, you make the decision and you move forward with it. You are very focused on whatever this is that you are building, creating, or putting your energy into. So we have a heart chakra, which is a stabilizing force, which is the number one. So you've recognized your limitations and uh, you are in a space where you are ready to move past them. Um, if not, you'll stay within them and wait for another opportunity period. The meaning is unstruck. Okay, the location is the heart center. The sound is yum. The color is green. The symbol is the 12 petal green lotus flower. This rules your heart, lungs, respiratory system, and your thymus, which makes sense when it comes to the solar plexus. Because if you pop your thymus, you build up your energy just like that. Smile. Pop it up. Now then, the element is air, of course. Um, so that heart energy and that heart and that discernment and moving into using that heart with that air, which is that six of swords with the moving forward and, and being very um, diligent in how you move, where you move and what and what it is that you put thought into makes things uh, move rather rapidly for you. Love, compassion, empathy, forgiveness is the qualities of this card, of this symbol. Love, compassion, empathy, forgiveness. Have some love, 
a little compassion, sprinkling a little empathy, and we have a and forgiveness, and we have a heart chakra gumbo. Thank you. That is the recipe. That's it. If you made it this far, Earth signs, okay. Drop a sword in the in the comments. Y'all are moving forward diligently with your swords, basically. Your awareness is going to be heightened. All right, I'm going to go because that's rude, ain't it? It counts local so good. It's so good. All right. I love y'all. Mm.